Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this fun, colorful makeup tutorial. This is a full face of makeup, but I am gonna fast forward through certain sections so we can focus mostly on the eyes. I am recreating, as close as I can remember, the look that I was wearing in the hair tutorial that featured the Briogeo products. So many of you requested a tutorial on that, and I'm using the Sigma Cinderella palette to create this look. Now, fair warning, this is not a look you want to do if you only have five minutes to race out the door to work. This is definitely a look that's going to take a few extra steps, a little extra time, but I personally think it's worth it. So I'd like to encourage you to give this look a try on a day when you have a little bit of extra time to play with some color. I just think this is such a fun, happy, spring-like, colorful look, and I have really enjoyed it. I've recreated this several times since that video. So I hope that you enjoy seeing this look come together. As always, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Starting off with foundation, I'm applying the Dior Forever Matte foundation and I've combined the shades 2.5 W and 1 W using my VK Beauty 101 brush. This is the travel size. I'm just going to quickly speed through these steps so we can get to the eyes. I'm going to wait to apply any concealer because when using colorful shadows, especially blues, you want to make sure you really clean up under the eye well. So let's add some eyeshadow primer. This is the Smashbox Intensify 24 Hour Eyeshadow Primer. And while that sets, I'm going to just run a little bit of my Honest Beauty setting powder that I'm going to use on the rest of my face. I'm just going to run a little bit of that through the brows. And now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the brows. Again, another helpful step sometimes when you're doing a more dramatic eye look. Today I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in the shade Taupe, and then I will add a little bit of Merit Brow Gel in Blonde. Okay, that primer is set. So now we're gonna start off with the brow bone highlight shade. And the Cinderella palette does not have a matte brow bone shade. So I'm just gonna dip into the Sigma Ritzy eyeshadow palette. I love this shade right here. It's nice and brightening. So use whatever skin tone or just slightly brighter shade you might already have in your collection. And just using the Sigma E50 to put a little bit of that under the brow. All right, now let's get to this palette. I'm using the Morphe M504 and I'm gonna go into this toasty shade called Pumpkin. And there is a little hint of some warmth or, uh, well, orangey hues, but it is overall, I would say more of a caramel shade and just lightly blending that through the top of the crease into that brow bone highlight shade. Next, we're gonna build up the color in the outer corner, and there's a couple steps here, so hang with me. All right, I'm gonna use the brush that comes with the palette. This is the E54, the Medium Sweeper brush. This is a great multitasker. All right, we're gonna start off with the green shade called Courtyard, and I'm just pressing the brush, tap it off. You are going to get a little bit of fallout, but if you tap off your brush, it minimizes it. And I'm just packing this on the outer corner and keeping it below the crease of the eye. And then I'll wipe off that brush and I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of this darker shade called Hopeful and using even less on the brush and I'm starting at the lash line and just lightly tapping that over. And I've played around with this color combination and doing the blue first, then the green. And I feel like the blue by itself is just a little too dark and intense and you kind of almost lose the blue tone of it. But by using this green shade first and then just going over it lightly with a little bit of the blue, I think it creates the perfect tone out here and it's just dark enough we will darken it a little bit at the lash line with the black, but I just think this color combination is really pretty. And as I get to the crease, I'm 
bringing my brush down. This is a color, as I said, it can get out of control quickly. And I just learned that with blues and greens, I don't particularly love them blended all through the crease, just blended up into our natural crease color. So I'm going to take this BK Beauty A502 brush, no product, and I'm just going to blend the top of that into our crease color. And now I'm gonna go back to that first shade, the pumpkin shade, and use that to blend the edge of those shadows. So you want it just to kind of almost fade into nothing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade called Cinders and just keep this right on the edge of the crease there. And then you can blend what's left through the crease. For the lid, I feel like the shades lock in better and stay longer if you have just a little bit of a cream colored base. So I'm just gonna use this one from It Cosmetics. It's the Superhero No Tug Shadow Stick. And the shade is called Silk Armor. This is just a real pale, it does have shimmer, but a pale champagne color. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. You can skip this step, but I feel like you're shades on the lid don't end up staying as intense throughout the day. Okay, let's go in first on the inner corner with Wishful. And I'm just going to place this just with my finger on the inner corner and we will touch this up again. After concealer, we'll bring it all the way into the inner corner. But for now, I just want to lighten up this inner corner. We're gonna overlap it with a turquoise shade. So you can bring it over, I would say at least a third of the way across your lid. And now for the star of the show, let's go in with the shade Sweet Nightingale. And this is a really beautiful, beautiful shade. And I'm just tapping that right in the middle. You can see how intensely that color comes off over that lighter base underneath. If you've used concealer as your eyeshadow primer, I know some of you can do that. Uh, you may not need the shimmer shadow underneath, but I can't use concealer on my lids. My lids are just too oily. <laughs> they will crease like crazy. Now we'll go back to our sweeper brush and a little bit of the shade Hopeful and just lightly kind of go over the edges of that turquoise shadow. And then with this shade here, Wishful, just going to tap my finger in and just really lightly tap over where those two shades meet and it just creates a really nice gradient from the inner corner to the outer corner. Okay, along the upper lash line, I'm using liquid liner to start. I'll explain in a moment. This is the LA Girl Jet Setter Liquid Eyeliner and just the shade black. So I'm going to do a super thin line here at the front. I don't wanna cover up any of that beautiful color, but by lining our lash line with black, it really allows the color to stand out from your eye color, especially if you have blue or green eyes. Sometimes blue and green, unless you have a really nice solid line, like I don't know if you can tell on camera, the difference, it really helps your eye color pop. And I'm not doing a wing with this. I'm just going to stop before the edge of my eye, but I'm lifting it up slightly. All right, we're gonna let that set and go to the lower lash line and then we'll come back and finish. So on the lower lash line, I used two different eyeliners. So I started off with this NYX Epic Wear Eye Pencil and the shade is Turquoise Storm. So I started off with this in my waterline and as is sometimes the case, I got it in the waterline and I was like, mm, 
it's a little too kind of blue turquoise and you can see on my lid it's a little more green what i did is i took my morphe m432 brush and while that's still a little bit wet it hasn't completely set i'm going to go in with just a hint of the shade sweet nightingale on the tip of that brush and i'm just pressing this into go into your lashes don't get this into your eye and if this makes you uncomfortable, you could totally just do this below your lash line. But I loved the look of this turquoise line in my waterline. And then I went in with the Urban Decay Sabbath pencil. This is a really nice matte navy brown, navy blue, not navy brown. And I'm going to put this right below the lashes and I'll smudge it into that turquoise in a moment. But I loved navy down here instead of black and instead of brown. Just thought that this really kind of helped keep the overall look kind of more blue. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe M432 and just softly work that into the roots of the lashes. Wipe off the brush. And then go in with the green shade Court Guard. And use that to just further soften that line. And then you can also use it and kind of wiggle it in your lashes. And by the way, this is a great way to make that liner stay longer in your waterline or the roots of your lashes. But I wear contacts, so don't worry. As long as you use a real thin, soft brush like this and you keep that powder shadow out of your eye, you'll be fine. All right, and then here on the outer corner, I'm just going to take that brush and kind of give myself a little bit of a guideline. And now I am going to go in just with, let's just stay with that Sabbath pencil I'm going to fill in now this gap here where we left off with the black liquid liner. I'm just going to work a little bit of this blue here and then top that with a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 204 brush and a combination of the black and the navy. And just right into that corner and go up a little bit. And this is just going to help diffuse the edge of that liquid liner. Do you see that? And it added just a little bit of depth out there without being too crazy. And one final step, just take your little blending brush, no extra product, and just make sure that edge is nice and soft. And now what's super important with blue eyeshadow, we gotta clean up underneath. So I'm just using a little bit of almond oil like I normally use. I like the Now Solutions brand. And I'm just using this to clean up under the eye. Next, I'm gonna use just a little bit of concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Color Corrector in Peach. This will actually be the first time I use this. And then the Dior, this is the Backstage Concealer, and this is the shade 1W. with a little bit of powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in shade 100, translucent. Now we desperately need some color on the cheeks. I'm gonna start off with the Tarte Sculpt Tape and this is in the shade Bronze. Blending that in with the BK Beauty 107 brush. I'm just always so pleased with how 
that blends into the skin and just how beautiful it looks. Okay, next I'm going to powder because everything else I have to use is a powder product. So I'm gonna use the Honest Beauty powder to powder the rest of my face. Now for the cheek color, I wanted to draw from the coral in my top. This is just a little mini of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Captivating. I love this. This is a beautiful matte peach shade. And I'm just using, this is the Morphe E4 brush, which is not available anymore, but it is just still my favorite blush brush. And then what you can do while you have that blush out with a real fluffy brush, this is, I'm back to the Morphe M504, just tap your brush in there and very, very lightly go on the very outer corner of your eye of above the crease there and just brush it outwards towards that blush. And you can see it just kind of ties all of that together and you want to go above you don't want to blend it down into the blues or anything you just want to real lightly dust that out you can see how far down i'm holding the brush you can even raise your pinky you know like you're having tea <laughs> brush it out there towards your blush all right inner corner highlight going back to our palette i'm going to go in with our shade here called wishful use that right on the inner corner for highlighter, I'm using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlighter in Highlight 01. I like to do something like this when I've got really crazy color on the eyes because it gives glow without detracting from everything we've got going on there. We want to keep the focus on the eyes. So by doing a more subtle highlight, I think that is helpful. It's still so beautiful. All right, now we definitely need some mascara. Just going to use one of my favorite combinations, the Dior Maximizer Lash Primer, the It Cosmetic Superhero, and the Calorie Mascara on the lower lashes. is fixed now one final step is we need some lip color i already went around the edge of my lips with the max soft ochre paint pot for a liner i'm using the urban decay 24 7 pencil in the shade broken and for that video i really did experiment with several different colors some a little brighter a little more corally and i just felt like it was too much so i ended up with the beauty counter beyond gloss in the shade bare shimmer and i thought this was just perfect mm, this smells so good and now here is our finished look and overall i just love it i never thought i would say that i am loving teal eyeshadow but i am really enjoying this look i've done this look several different times since i filmed that hair video and i just think it's a wonderful way to incorporate some bright cheery color into your makeup look for the spring so i hope that you enjoyed this video as always check the description box down below click where it says more then hit more again and you will see a list and links to every product and the brushes and tools that i used in today's video thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye